What's up everyone, how you guys doing today? Um, today, I'm making this video. Um, <laughs> I'm making this video and I'm titling it, um, Exposed Part 2. Um, yes, Exposed Part 2. I got um, some good feedback from the um, from the exposed video that I put out before this one here and um, I got some good feedback from it and um, I appreciate you guys for um, watching that video and um, having an understanding of how things work out here but um, today I'm going to um, touch on a few things as far as how certain individuals like to work out here and you know I'm certain individuals meaning truckers and certain dispatch companies all right <clears throat> let's jump straight into it guys you know there there are there are a ton of low boards out here and there are all type of low boards one of the most popular low boards out here is the DAT low board and there are certain truckers that use that load board and there are um, certain um, dispatch services who use that load board and um, certain trucking company use that load board but I'm gonna break it down to you today far as how how um, some individuals can win or lose on by using a load board compared to individuals that don't use a load board but um first and foremost i want to say this um i'm not bashing anybody or nothing like that but I'm, I'm i'm speaking from i try to speak nothing but the truth and i try to speak nothing but facts <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know who do that, that boy guilty. Straight facts. Try to do that. But um and also man, I'm 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 here to help you guys, you know what I'm saying? Just to open your mind, just to give you a broader um aspect on a lot of things that are out here in the trucking industry that you know that certain individuals don't want you to know. But me on the other hand, I'm here to help you as much as I can, you know. Well, not only, I'm not going to say help you, but enlighten you as much as I can. All right. As I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to touch on a few things, um, a few things in this video. All right, guys. You know, you have individuals that, and also, this is not a scripted, this is not a script video. This is straight off the flip. You know what I'm saying? It's straight off the flip. You're not going to get all this. I don't need a script for my shit right here because <laughs> I just don't. But um, back to the subject. You know you have, have how you have um, certain individuals where they, they, that's all they talk about. Low board this, low board that. Um, I want to get on low board. I got to see what's on low board. This rate is this, this rate is that on low board. Fuck, gotta get on low board. Um, let me check low board right now. I gotta check low board. I'm checking the low board. Damn, I don't see shit. Fuck! Well, they go one right there. They go a rate right there. They go one is um, going 500 miles. It's paying. 500 miles is paying $1,300. That, that ain't too bad. Let's call this broker. Let's call this agent. All right, I gotta write. Hold on, let me write this um load number down. All right, you wrote the load number down. You call an agent. Hey, I'm calling about load X Y Z that's going to B C D. Yeah, um, I see that you got um. 1700 on that load 500 miles is that the most you can do
Can you do um? Can you do nineteen hundred? Ah, that's the most I can do. Seventeen hundred is the most I can do. All right then. All right. Well, um, I got a carrier package already filled out with you guys. Can you send that old over? Email it to me. I'll run it for you. Yeah, it is. Um, it picks up when. Picks up today. Okay, at four o'clock. And it delivers when. delivers um tomorrow by 4 p.m okay then go ahead and send that over to me all right that's not bad then all right thank you appreciate you you get off the phone with that agent you book the load now remember you got that load off the load board you book the load you and the agent you done ran a few loads for this um for this for this for this, for this brokerage before all right, everything is going smooth. Like I said, you got this load off the load board. That's Paul. Paul got the load off the load board. All right. Then you got Peter over here. I mean, like I said, that load, he got that load for $1,700. You got Peter over here. <laughs> Peter just sit back. Peter just sit back and this is what Peter do. He don't even use a load board, y'all. He don't even use a load board. This is what Peter do. Oh, shit. That's my guy. My guy calling me. Let me see what my guy got for me. What's up, Bob? How you doing, man? Yeah, 500 miles. What you got on it, man? $2,200. For 500 miles? See if you can get, see if you can get 2350 out of it, man. He, he told me to hold on, y'all. He told me to hold on. 2350 For 500 miles? God damn. Go ahead and send that load over for me, bud. I run it. When do it delivers tomorrow, I pick up later on the night, and I deliver tomorrow by 4 p.m. Bet I run it, man. I run it for 23. Yeah, come on over. Send it over to me. <laughs> Let's do the math, guys. <laughs> You know I had to break it out for you. You know I had to break it out for you guys. All right. The end of the first individual they got the load for, he got it for seventeen hundred dollars. All right. He got it for seventeen hundred dollars. The second individual got it for. $2,300. As a $600 difference. As a $600 spread right there. You see what I'm saying? The first individual, he got the load off the load board. You see where I'm heading with this? The first individual got the load off the load board. The second individual didn't even have to use a load board. The second individual, guess what happened? Shit, he got a phone call from his buddy. From his buddy, him and his buddy, they, they got a good rapport together. You know what I'm saying? They got a damn good rapport together. And... He don't have to scramble for a fucking load. He's not scrambling for a load. Look, looking all fucking day just to try to find a fucking load board. Looking all day on a fucking load board. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm heading with this? Compared to an individual that's that's like this all day long. That's like this all day long. 
guys let me say this and this can go either this can go a couple of ways this can go far as with individuals that are leased on or individuals not even just leased on but for individuals that have their own authority one thing that I do know guys with having it <laughs> when, you, when you have your own authority you want to do as less work as possible I'm gonna repeat that again as less work as possible compared to someone that's running out here running around like a chicken with their head cut off trying to scramble for something that are getting scraps out here guys Guys, you, you 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 cannot, you got to quit defeating yourself. You have to quit settling. But I'm not knocking anybody. That's some individuals. They just like to play on the low board, man. They like to play on the low board. They like to see those freight waves go up and down. Fuck that. I don't want to see no fucking freight waves go up and down. One thing that I do know and one thing that I like to say, I've, I've said this in the past, consistency. Long as I am consistent, I'm winning. I mean, I'm winning. You, you, can't, you can't get no better than that. You, you know what I'm saying? Because... <clears throat> I heard brother man say this um in, in a couple of videos ago. He was talking about his profit. It's this program that he used. And um he puts his number in and he said he's being a hundred percent profitable in his business right now. A hundred percent guys profit, man. How many of you guys out there can actually say that? And don't give and, 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 and let me put this out there. Yeah, he's running under his own authority, but <clears throat> how many individuals out there can actually say that? They are being a hundred, they are running a hundred percent profitable. There's not many out there, guys. You know why he's doing why is that? Because he has found his niche. He's not settling. He know what he has to do to make his business continue to continue to be profitable and I can absolutely guarantee you this he's not doing this either fuck I got I'm trying to find this load right here fuck I need this load damn I guess I'll be sitting here all day long waiting on this looking waiting wait Waiting to find a fucking load to see if it's gonna pay what I want it to pay. <laughs> Still waiting. Damn, there go one right there. Hey, I'm calling about load XYZ. It's going to BCD. It's paying $1,700. I was been booked already. Okay, then no problem. All right, then no problem. Damn, the load got booked already. Oh, oh, oh! That's that's my boy. What's up, John? Okay, what's the weight on it? Twenty-five thousand pounds. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. What you guys? What's the rate? Twenty-one hundred. See if you can get twenty-two out of it. All right, send it on over to me. I'll run it. It picks up when? Tomorrow. 
It's an open appointment. It's an open appointment so I can deliver it at any time. Bet. Okay, send it on over to me. I'll run it. The same individual, the same individual <clears throat> that called about that load that wasn't able to get that load that said the broker told him, the agent told him that it was already booked. It wasn't booked. The second guy that got that phone call, like I said, the second guy, he don't even work off of a load board. He only thing that he work that he do is wait on phone calls. That's it. That's all he do all day long. You know what I'm saying? You know why he does that? Because he has found his niche. He has found <clears throat> he has found that he don't have to work as much, man, as an individual that's running around with his head cut off. Like with, like a chicken with his head cut off. You know what I'm saying? This guy, the second person, he has built a rapport with certain brokers and agents. You know what I'm saying? That these agents and brokers know what this individual would run his truck for. They know that he's not taking low XYZ for scraps. He's not doing that. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, whatever the second individual runs, more than likely, he's going to have a backhaul coming back to the area where he need to be compared to that individual that's on the load board all day long trying to scramble for a fucking load, man. Guys, I'm going to leave you with this. Whatever you do out here, man, try to make the best of it. <clears throat> certain people, they, 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 they like to work a certain way. You got individuals that like to play on the low board all day long. But you also got individuals that like to play smart. You know what I'm saying? Play it smart. They don't use low boards. At the end of the day, that's them. But above all, who are you working for? Are you are you running a business? Or are you letting someone else run your business? Think about that. But hey, I'm just little old Kenny, man. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna keep too much more of your time. I just wanted to share that with you today. Like I said, this is exposed part two, man. I catch you guys on the rebound. And um, you guys be safe and be blessed out there. Holla at you.